up everybody? Okay, that lightning's pretty loud. Okay, so today we're on Mighty Combat, and I've decided to make a legitimate guide. Uh, my other guide that I made, it tricked a lot of, um, you know, new players that came into this game, but I've decided to make a real one this time, so if you're interested in knowing everything you need to know so you can get all your stats up the quickest, then I will show you all of that today. Alright, so we are now at the job board, and if you want, you can take your time to read every job here, but I'm just going to tell you what jobs to do and what not to do. So, you want to do get and deliver the milk, deliver pizza to a house, deliver the package, and most importantly, catch my lost dog. So, catch my lost dog. If you're in a server and that quest gets done 15 times, a boss called Dog Overlord spawns in, and if you kill him, everybody in the server gets 15k so you could be afk or something like that and you would still get the 15k that's a really good quest all right and we're gonna move on to over here also never do graffiti graffiti is the worst quest in this game by far it takes like three minutes to do it's not worth it at all never do graffiti and over here we have insurance product and this is useful if you want to go on like a really long grind and you buy a lot of food. This will make sure that you don't lose your items when you get gripped. Anything else you will lose. And if you have a gun, you'll lose it too. But I doubt any of you have a gun right now. But insurance product, get it if you're going to buy a lot of food. I would recommend to always have at least one inside your inventory. Like at all times. Because you never know what could happen. You could walk outside to do a quest and you could get blapped by somebody. So always buy insurance and then over here we have cash registers and if you're new to this game you're not even going to want to think about these because if you're new you're not going to do enough damage and they take like three minutes to break if you don't do enough damage um for me it takes around four combos or so but unless you have some good strength already do not do cash registers and when you break a cash register they give you 500 in-game cash and then this npc right here he tells you your stats for 100 in-game cash all right and then he can also transport you to rank so ranked if you go in ranked and you just lose it doesn't do anything to you so you can lose as many times as you want and nothing's going to change about your stats or cash or whatever but if you end up winning and you get top 10, you get a crown. And if you get top 5, you get a colored crown that's way more visible to see. And the color changes if you're number 5, 4, 3, oh, so on and so on. And also, one more thing, uh, two more things actually, is if you click this button in the elevator, it can save you from, uh, from death sometimes. And also, this is where people come to AFK days. Days are a currency in this game. Let me show you where you can spend them. Right here. So you can buy a style reset for 30 days, 15 premium, and over here a clan reroll, 35, 20 if you're premium. So AFKing days is a good staple of the game. You always want to be doing that. If you just got the game, I would recommend to AFK. In the elevator, I'm going to show you one more time. So if you want to come AFK, just click on this button and then set up an auto clicker or something to make sure that you don't get kicked for being AFK and you'll be set. Okay, we are now at the best CEO shop, the bank. So let me get into why the bank is the most useful CEO shop. So if we walk in here, we have bank cards. So bank cards is what allows you to use the ATM and ATM. 100% you need to be using like if you get gripped and you happen to have a ton of cash on you from grinding You're gonna lose a steady amount of all that cash as you can see. I am dead broke right now Let's ignore that and another reason why the bank is so good is because you can rob it and You can rob it by breaking this door just hit it a bunch of times and then you'll get TP'd inside the vault and There's like this laser thing that you have to do and all you have to do is just it's super easy. Like if you play jailbreak and there's like the lasers that move and stuff, it's the same thing. It's super easy. And once you do the bank, you get 5k in-game cash. So always do the bank. It's up every single uh, 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure. So if you really want to 
grind cash the fastest i would say server hop for dog overlord like have friends who um tell you like yo uh dog overlord spawn or bank is ready and once they tell you just join their server and server hop for that because that is the quickest way you're gonna make cash now that you guys know how to make money it's time for you to find out how to spend it all so what you need to do is that you need to go inside easy cheesy and this is the most hated ceo shop uh i don't know why but every single wave player hates it and i'm gonna be honest it is the best ceo shop so what you need to do you need to buy uh usually it's 5k worth of cheesy and uh 5k worth of season chips and i'm gonna show you exactly how to get to season chips go over here you click on waku's karate and right here you have josh josh's catch and cook and then you just buy uh you buy some season chips and if you right click you buy five at a time so if you want to see that real quick all right so one thing i did forget to mention is bases almost forgot these existed for a sec but i'm going to show you guys all the locations for them i already took a base right now and oh i took two bases so if you guys uh, look at my money you can see it raise and stuff as the video goes on you can see how much you make and i'm going to show you guys all the four locations so the first one is behind job association uh second one is behind easy cheesy you can see over there third one is at the basketball court right here fourth one finally is behind donkle donuts So I know what you're thinking, uh, if you've been looking at my cash, I've made uh, little to none, but just know the more players that are in your server, the more the cash that you like, the more cash is multiplied for your income. So if you're in a full server, you'll be making way more than this. It multiplies per person, I'm pretty sure. So bases are really OP in a full server. All right. So now you have your money, you have your items, you have your food, you are ready to start training. So. You want to come over to Waku's Karate. This is the first thing you want to train at. First place that you want to train at when um, you finally get all the things I mentioned previously. And what I do is I get this out of here and I start a little chain of seasoned cheesy and then seasoned and then cheesy. And then it just goes like that. I just do that usually and then I buy boxing training. I pop a cheesy, then I pop a, I pop boxing. I wait until my stamina is like a little bit low. So yeah, I wait until my stamina is like a little bit low, and then I eat a cheesy. That and then I usually just keep doing that because if you are a freshie, you're gonna punch so many times, and you're just gonna run out of stamina almost instantly. So you need, uh, you need seasoned, so your stamina can keep regening as you punch, and then you'll never run out of stamina as you do this. Also, uh, it's not like I'm recommending this or anything but uh you can macro this and you know macroing is only bannable if you get caught so i'm not gonna tell you guys that a macro or anything it's not i'm not trying to say that it's okay to macro or whatever but all i'm saying is it's only bannable if you get caught so this is the gym and here we have the gym memberships 20 minutes for 300 which isn't too bad so you have to come to the gym once you get 80 kg if you try to come here at 40 kg which i did it was around an hour and 30 minutes per tier and that only gets worse the higher tier you are i was around under superb so i would not recommend coming here for you have 40 kg unless you want to spend a ton of time sitting here in the gym and let me just buy a pass and then we'll go in and i'll show you all the trainings here we have the bench press this is to train strength then right here we have boxing bags so you can buy uh this item called boxing trainings which you'll see later in the vid and you can bring them over here and you'll get like a slightly a slightly bigger xp buff but this is not worth it i did this to test it out and you still tear up the same like and it takes double the time because you have to keep running back 
but it's a good way to train your speed at the same time as um, your strength because um, my speed did end up tearing up as well. And up here we have treadmills and treadmills, they don't actually do anything if you didn't know. It's more like a placeholder so you, you don't macro. And speed, speed training is also stamina training. So every single time that you train your speed, you're also training your stamina. There's no other way to train your stamina except to train your speed. And here we have pull-ups. Pull-ups give endurance. And here we have the vest as well. So there's 120 kg being the highest, 80 kg being the second highest, so on and so on. And a lot of people don't know this, but you cannot put on a vest if you do not meet the requirements for it, unlike uh, Ken Omega. And the last thing, or two more things, a couple more things. Impact training and curls. Curls, they train your uh, combat speed. Impact training is for durability. So in this game, unlike uh, Ken Omega, this game is hit based for impact training. So you need to find people who are weak to hit you or else impact training is not gonna be worth it. And then finally, squats, push-ups, and sit-ups. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Squats give speed and a little bit of strength. I would recommend to never do curls or squats. If you do those, you will take forever to tear up and it's really not worth it compared to the other things that you can do. And that's about it for the gym. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope that the free access players, free access, yeah, free access players, hope that they have a better time on the game now that they know how to train and stuff. But if you see me in game, I'm still going to grip you. So I would recommend to run or camp inside your safe zones because just know all new players have a 20 in-game day safe zone. So just be in there and you'll be fine. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and I hope you enjoyed the video.